and how many players you guys were missing there down the stretch, how sweet of a win was this? You know, that was a big time win, especially whenever you, you know, it's a tough game. Those guys were good. And, you know, whenever it's a hard fought game, come down to the wire like that, it's good to get those wins, you know, under your belt. You know, basically what happened, throw it to Yo-Yo so I can, you know, come back and get a handoff. So we ran it and I hit the shot. Uh, for either Johan or Paul, is uh, Brown's obviously had some big moments here last season in terms of hitting uh, go-ahead shots. Confidence level in, in him pretty high in a situation like that. Is that where you guys want the ball mm. in his hands? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm not ready for that yet. I mean, I wouldn't be ready for that. So I guess down the road, yes, but not now. What gives you the confidence? Um, I mean, he's experienced, and he's a better shooter. He's a smart player, a good playmaker. So, Ron, what do you think the biggest difference between Friday night and tonight was for you personally? I, I couldn't. I couldn't even tell you. I, I just approached the game better, I guess. Uh, maybe last last game I was too excited going into the game, and you know I kind of let it affect how I play, but you know. Coaches and my teammates are just telling me, you know, stay, stay ready and stay uh, aggressive, and just forget about the last game, and, that, and that's what I did. For all, for any of you, was it was it necessary to kind of control the pace of the game at times when it was kind of, you know, getting a little sloppy on both ends for both teams? Um, I think the girls did a good job of that. Um, I mean, yeah, when they were going on glass and they were, they were fast, you know, I got beat down the floor a couple of times, but Coach Brady was kind of. Talked to me and just told me to run faster or just get back on defense earlier. So we did a good job of that. When you guys come into a game knowing you're only going to use seven players, does that affect your approach at all? Change the way you play the game? I guess it changed because we was going to come out and run man how we were supposed to be running, you know, denying and pressuring. But you can't do that all game with just seven guys. So, you know, that's when we switched to the zone. And, you know, we still got to work on it, but, you know, it helped us out a little bit. Going into the night, you guys knew they kind of pressed a lot. You know, how do you think you kind of adapted to that throughout the night, especially you, Ron? You know, Coach was just talking about, you know, just taking care of the ball. So, you know, in the beginning of the game, <clears throat> we, we weren't ready for their ball pressure. We turned it over a little bit. But as the game went on, you know, we got stronger with the ball and, and you know, started taking care of it more. Paulie's for you, I believe, career high points. You know, what do you, what do you think of tonight? Um, I think it's a really tough game, and I was I tried to stay aggressive, and that's I think that's where the uh, foul shots came for me. So uh, my mind was my mind my mindset was just to be aggressive, and I didn't really care how many points or whatever I'll get. I just wanted to play aggressively and uh, focused. You guys are already missing um, Andre and Tom. Joey McLean didn't dress for this game. I mean, what, what's going through your mind when you see Hari at the end of the bench? Um, you know, with his jersey over his face. We just gotta get them back. You know, we just gotta get healthy. And you, whenever you see one of your brothers go down, that's tough. But you know, it just somebody else gonna have to step up. You know, and it, hope, I mean, we get Tom back next game, so that's that's good too. And hopefully, we get Joy back as soon as possible. But you never like to see one of your brothers go down. You, you honey, 28 points in the paint as a team tonight. Was it was it easier to get down low as it compared to Friday? Yeah, it was way easier. I, I, well, we talked about it as a team. Shot selection tonight was much better. We never rushed any shots. We ran through the plays. Um, I guess we learned from Friday. So, that was pretty good. Rob, plan A in that uh, in those final seconds was to obviously take that layup, uh, and that was stuff. What was kind of going through your mind when, when kind of plan A went out the window there? I kind of knew it was going to get blocked. <laughs> I just hope he blocked it out of bounds. <clears throat> so, he blocked it out of bounds, and <clears throat> that's when, you know, we ran that play so we could get that shot. And, and you know, my teammates had a faith in me and I knocked it down. So. Did you guys ever run that play in the game before? We did. We ran it earlier in the game. Paul is fake handed off to me and got fouled. So that was the second time we ran that in the game. Okay. I mean, what's your comfort level like at the end of games in these kind of situations? You thrive, it seems like. No, I mean, every player wants a ball in their hand at the end of the game, you know. That's something like you, as a basketball player and as a competitor, that's something you want to do. You want to have the ball in your hands, you know, make those big plays. So, I mean, my teammates and coaches have confidence in me, so that gives me confidence in myself too. So. Anything else? Yeah. Hey, Ron, you guys are thank you. Thank you.